Right now, today, I'll be working on the woman's face, specifically on her uh, headdress, this uh, stocking kind of cap or whatever it's called. Um, this is based off of this reference photo right here. Uh, that's from the original um, reference photo, Colonial Williamsburg um, advertisement. And I'm going to change that a little bit. And this is the rendition I have here. So I'm going to be trying to imitate this look. Anyway, <clears throat> I want to work on that cap just a little bit. So let me see if I can pull up the original reference photo. And I'm going to grab some raw sienna and a little bit of raw umber dark. And we're going to make a mixture. I'm going to cut right in here. I think it's going to be too hard for you to see what I'm doing based on my camera angle, but um, I'll just shut out the colors that I'm using so you can somewhat follow along. Anyway, I'm going to be cutting in here with those two colors, raw or dark, raw sienna, and a little bit of titanium white, maybe even a little bit of Indian yellow. And there's these little divots that I want to get. It looks like they're kind of like a doily, you know, where they have those pointed ends. I want to make those rounded corners, lacy kind of corners. Get that established. And then let's blend into her hair color just a little bit. That can be just a little bit lighter. I'll pull up the other reference photo. get just a little bit of shading right here where the light's striking her hair, but that could be a little cooler in tone. Add some raw umber dark and ultramarine blue to that. I'm going to go down a little bit darker as well. Show some highlights on her on her hair. So I'm adding a few striations within the hair and refining it against the white. Might take a few different layers to do that. You have to be very patient with this technique and um, come back to it if you need to with more layers. Maybe I can hit a little dark spot right in here with raw or dark. All right, now, add some titanium white and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Maybe a little bit of raw or dark. And we want to make a grayish color that we can use for her hat. Just add on to that. There we go and just extend the shadow down a little bit. All right, now I add a little depth. 
depth and dimension to this. I'm going to go back to the other reference image. It looks like it's a little darker on this side. This part's not receiving as much light <clears throat> as the other part. So I'm just going to darken this side a little bit more. And I want to put a little bit of depth to this. So maybe a little bit of a darkening overall to this section. But more so to the right hand side. And I might have to wait for this layer to dry, that's the thing. It's really hard to do this in one layer if it's translucent. And we're using the glazing technique, so I have a lot of matte medium mixed in. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's going to have to wait until the next layer. Alright, let's do a little work on her hair. And trying to emulate this reference photo right here. So I want to cool down the hair color just a little bit with um, ultramarine blue and raw umber dark. It's just a little too yellowish. So I'm just going to tone down the color a tiny bit. And then we have this highlight color on top. So I'm going to use raw sienna and titanium white, a little bit of Indian yellow. And I want to tone it down just a bit. I hit that <clears throat> ever so slightly here. Just kind of getting the highlights on it. All right, and maybe a little more raw umber dark, raw sienna. Want to get the shadow color shapes refined a little bit more. I'm trying to get that glossy look of shininess on hair, and that's going to take a little bit of a technique to do that. It'll involve darkening it on this left hand side, and letting the right side shine a little bit more. Darken that a little bit more as well. <coughs> Excuse me, and then we're going to get the darker colors in there, the darker values using raw umber dark and raw sienna. So I'm going to establish that again. <clears throat> when hair is not um, illuminated in the light, even blonde hair can get quite dark in certain spots. So it's good to keep that in mind. Wherever the light isn't illuminating it, it's going to get much, much darker than what you'd think. Definitely want to get that blonde look as much as possible. All right, here I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight. 
titanium white, medium yellow. Just a spot right there. And then maybe a little bit of a shadow coming from the hair on the right hand side using more of a grayish color. And that gives the hair a little more depth. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.